When the fight starts with Seath, you'll need to run and shatter the crystal immediately in order to be able to do any damage to him at all. If you're trying to cut his tail, you'll want to sprint backward and hit it as many times as you can as quickly as possible. Be sure to hit as close to the tip as you can, otherwise it might not count as tail damage. Once he spins around, you'll need to lure him a bit into the center of the room if you want to get behind him again in order to cut his tail. Cutting his tail is extremely difficult to do solo, and even more difficult to do with a short weapon like the longsword, as I'm doing here. But keep in mind, once you get it, even if you die, you'll keep it, so this is sort of a suicide run. The trouble here is that when you get behind him, he starts slamming his tail all over the place and it hits like a truck, affording you very little opportunity to attack before he spins around. As you see though, it can be done with a little persistence and patience. Once his tail's off, you want to move in close and start attacking his body, trying to avoid the crystals. The crystals cause curse to build up on you, so you'll want some curse resist gear in order to make this happen slower. Keep in mind that if cursed by Seath, when you respawn your health will be cut in half, you will not be able to kindle at bonfires or become human again. If you do become cursed, the best way to get rid of it is by getting a purging stone, and these can be purchased from Oswald of Krim in the Gargoyle Bell Tower. Just keep moving with Seath, get in close, and stay near him, that way you can avoid his crystal breath as much as possible.
I can do that fight with that many missed swings, then I'm sure you can too.